Hey everyone, this is Matthew, back with a frame rate comparison for Virtual Tennis 4. Back in 2012, this was a wonderful PS3 conversion, running at a native resolution with x2 MSA and detailed player models, all while trying to hit a native 60 frames per second. 3D Vita games running at this frame rate are rare to come by, so this game certainly stands out for that fact. It stayed close to the 60 FPS cap when it really mattered, but had severe drops under 30 FPS during intermissions, and had a couple of other cases where it could improve. This is because the game ran with the hardware clocked to minimum settings, running the CPU, BUS, and GPU at 333 MHz, 222 MHz, and 111 MHz respectively. So let's see how O'Clock Vita helps out. First, a look at singles. On both settings, the game runs locked at 60 FPS while playing no matter what camera view you select, or on what map you play on. Because of this, the minigame mode is locked at 60 FPS as well. However, it should be mentioned that power shots can bring the frame rate down to 45 FPS on default settings. Now, let's look at doubles. Looking at the three different camera views for the game when it's running on default settings, the frame rate is only locked at 60 FPS on TV and close mode. When using the follow view on more populated maps, the frame rate will hover from 53 to 57 frames per second, depending on which part of the service line you're on. However, if you use follow mode on a qualifier map, the frame rate will be locked to 60 FPS. With O'Clock Vita, the game does not have any of these issues. It runs at a locked 60 FPS on singles and doubles. But let's look at every other part of the match. Replays run at 30 to 40 frames per second on default settings and are locked at 60 FPS with O'Clock Vita maxed out. The live shots are the most taxing part of the game, which will bring the frame rate down to the low 20s with an occasional dip into the high teens on singles and a couple of frames lower on doubles. With O'Clock Vita, the results are what you would maybe expect with a 100% increase in GPU speed. Live shots will always be over 30 FPS, but will never be over 50 FPS. Because of this boost, the game now provides an almost perfect experience. When I play the game, the jump from 60 frames per second to 30 or 40 frames per second feels completely natural, but the stutter caused by the inconsistent frame rates is not gone. It's unfortunate it's still there, but I'd still recommend picking the game up and giving it a go with O'Clock Vita. That's all I have for today, so as usual, I'll let the rest of the footage play. Be sure to let me know what games you want me to test, and subscribe if you want more of these videos. Thanks for watching, and have a good one. Game Federer, Monfils.